Vusi Musi Mater became involved in tyre recycling in 2010 when it was virtually unheard of in South Africa. I was the first black uh, company as well, which is Mater Group, which introduced this uh, uh, tyre recycling, although it was in a, a smaller scale, but we were getting the crumb, all the di different types of crime that were needed, we were producing them. Tires are extremely difficult to dispose of and pose both environmental and health risks when stockpiled. But at Marte Group's newly commissioned plant in Hammersdale, a truck tire is reduced to rubber crumb in a matter of 90 seconds. This is done using state-of-the-art machinery imported from China. This extrusion facility has the capacity to crush up to 10 tons of tire material every day. As you can see, there's no supply shortage. South Africa has an estimated 60 million tires lying around. Every year, a further 11 million tires are added onto those stockpiles. It wasn't until 2013 that the company got a license to produce rubber crumb. At the time, Marte was recycling 12,000 tires a year. It wasn't long before the small company won the buy-in of Van Dyke, South Africa's biggest carpet manufacturer. Van Dyke then partnered with the Marte Group, taking up a 49% stake in the company. The move boosted Marte's resources and it's now become Van Dyke's sole supplier of crumbed rubber. We um, started the partnership uh, at the beginning of 2014. Um, at the time, around about 2012, uh, we were looking at ways to secure the supply of rubber crumb for use in our different operations and we came across Mr. Marte and his operation in New Germany. We were looking to localize our source of supply. By the end of last year, Marte was recycling 40,000 tires. This will now almost be quadrupled to 150,000 tires over the next two years, producing 7,000 tons of rubber crumb. Currently, 50% of the crumb is exported to Europe, while the rest is sold locally and across Africa. Our market, it's, it's, it's international with the rubber. We are supplying FIFA uh, for, for the new stadiums that they are building in Africa. So the whole of Africa, the rubber comes from Mate Group. And uh, even in Benin, we supply that in overseas, the, the, we supply Fandek, which Fandek supplies the, the overseas market. Uh, for, 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 for with, the, with their carpet underneath. Overall, investment in this new factory was in the region of $1.5 million. The extrusion machine cost a further $1.1 million. Marte believes it was money well spent and expects a return on investment in just two years. The extrusion facility is able to completely strip the tires, leaving no waste. Even the steel extracted from the tires is being sold off. We've signed the contract with the car manufacturers in South Korea and um, their order is 200 tons per month of which I think we will be able to to supply them with that because we are getting a lot of steel from the tires. Marte is now also working with the South African government under the state recycling initiative. Tires are shredded and then passed on to private companies to reduce the tire material into crumbs. The government also recently introduced a tax on all new tires. Sumitra Nadu, CCTV, Hammersdale, KwaZulu-Natal.